guys, it's Clyde and I'm here at NAMM 2023 and we're in the Rhodes booth with the Mark 8 EFX model. I'm just going to offer up a quick honest opinion on what I feel about this Mark 8 after being hands on and being able to play it, see inside of it, hear the effects and really just get my hands on it because I do have a Mark 1 myself uh, that I did restore and we've come to come to meet the Mark 8 and uh, it's showing its colors for sure. So. Alright guys, so one thing I forgot to mention in the video is try not to just take the Mark 8 at face value for what it is right now. I mean, it's great as it is, but they really are doing a lot behind the scenes to bring new and exciting features to current and future Rhodes owners. This includes doing MRIs on tines to see what makes a tine sing, what makes a tine a dud, and they're throwing out tons of material to make sure that only the best quality is going into each and every Rhodes Mark 8. They're also developing new ways to figure out what makes a setup on every Rhodes Mark 8 perfect so that you can literally go through each and every note and have a perfect setup on your Mark 8. And a little insider information here, nothing is set in stone, take this with a grain of salt, but if you can take the Rhodes V8 plugin as an example, for what they can do. They're testing out tons of new possibilities for features that could be implemented on the effects and the preamp in the future. Whatever they can do to bring this instrument even farther into the future and make it even more versatile. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like and subscribe. And a big shout out to George Pettis who absolutely shredded on the market at the end. It was incredible. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for the rest. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about the build quality of the Mark 8. Uh, as we were just told, and as you might've heard before, the keys are made by the Steinway Corporation. Um, the whole body, the harp inside, as we'll show on the uh, 75 anniversary model, everything is like immaculate detail. It's, it's uh, an instrument that's been put together with extreme care and you can feel it. The, the, the key bed on this piano just feels, it's, a, it's definitely a big upgrade compared to my Mark I. We'll do a quick overview of what we have here. I'm sure most of you already know what's on it, but this is the first time the EFX model has been shown in a show. So we have a compressor, a chorus, a phaser, and a delay, and they're all bucket brigade analog effects. We have the custom designed Rhodes preamp with a full analog EQ with a parametric mid band and the lovely Berry pan that we all know and love, and that's why I got the Retro Flyer preamp for my Mark I, so I could get that nice stereo chorus. As you can see, the harp cover is uh, painted in this beautiful khaki color, and we've got a full wood enclosure on this one. You can actually get it with the old, old school Tolex, or you can um, get it with a, a clear harp top. Uh, it's, it's all customizable to your spec. All right, so this is just gonna be a quick sum up video. Overall, the build quality, the feeling of the piano, the sound, the look, it's, it, it really fits the part. It's, uh, it's something that everybody should have if they can afford it. And it's truly an heirloom quality instrument. You're gonna buy it. And it's something that you can have in your home, show off and pass down to your kids or tour with. It's, it's, uh, it's a beautiful instrument. And, and anybody who's gonna get one is gonna be lucky to have one.